Ladies and gentlemen, now today we're going to be trying out a full fairy team in Champion PvP. Now, I've recently just maxed out my lane this morning, and I've been really interested to see if this team is going to work and be viable, because Elaine, you know, she gets the stat benefit from King, but also her unique uh, provides additional health to all fairy allies and increases their HP-related stats by 15%, so I don't think that's going to be too bad, but also on top of of that she has a fair bit of utility with her skills which i think is going to be somewhat useful for the um uh, the current meta we might be able to kind of shut down and counter some gothers maybe so her first basic attack uh, inflicts damage to one enemy and also decreases skill ranks but if it's silver it'll also drain alt gauge equal to the amount of skill rank decreases as well so that seems you know pretty decent there um and then we have our second ability which inflicts damage to all enemies however if we can get a silver one it also depletes one alt move gauge of every single enemy so I think in the right circumstance that's going to be um again very useful uh, I kind of have a feeling that in order to get the most out of her utility though we might need to drop the full fairy team and swap out like Helbrum for Gotha but we'll play a couple of matches man and see how it goes and then we have our ultimate which I've upgraded four times man I've pulled so much Elaine that I was like you know I'm gonna max out this character I'm big Waylon so uh <laughs> you know I'm, I might as well upgrade it man so it cancels buffs and stances on one enemy it inflicts damage equal to uh, almost 700% of her attack and then also stuns for one turn. So it, it's kind of like Meliodas's ultimate, Green Meliodas's ultimate, maybe not quite as snazzy um, uh, damage wise there, but certainly doesn't seem too bad, but it's not like they're the crazy AoE ultimates of Helbrum or King. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go for like an alt rush strategy. We got the apple pies that we're going to be eating. We also have green Merlin on the sub as well for additional alt uh, gauge at the start. And let's, uh, yeah, let's see how this uh, this team does. I think we need to pay attention to um, our opponent's Gotha and, you know, who they choose to upgrade so we can... Um, uh, drain and derank with Elaine, and then then maybe we're laughing, boys. Then maybe we're having a pretty good time. But uh, yeah, as long as we can pay additional attention, which again, this is my first time playing Elaine in PvP, man. So I may not be super great at it. So give your boy a little bit of slack in the comments section. Um, okay, I think we keep Elaine's abilities and we merge on King and go in for Helbrum. Unless. There's like a, a ghost of buff on Arthur. Aha. Okay, maybe, maybe we go in with Elaine as well, man. I think we merge on King, going with Elaine. Okay, recovery has been disabled. So let's uh, get rid of that. Is that the single target one or AoE? We need to use both anyway. Okay, so let's decrease the skill ranks on Arthur there. And... Uh, fire this off, deal a little bit of damage to everyone and then merge on King so that gets rid of his silver oh no, dude I should have done it in the previous order, I forgot to play around the uh, evasion food there oh, it's been such a long time since I've seen evasion food but I, oh, mistakes were made boys right, if he gets gold rush next turn, oh no I think he's probably at gold Maybe not. Hmm. Just trying to think about the play here. Do we just nuke down Gotha? I think we do. Let's use the ultimate there. Make sure Gotha dies. And then... Um, gosh, I don't really want to use the heal that soon. I guess, guess we use it anyway. Just get people topped up. There's not too much of a threat next turn after this. King's ultimate put in some solid work there. I'm still guided about that first turn misplay, man. <laughs> well, at least we know that since he's using food, this is definitely a player. And then what do we have next turn? Um, got a couple of Hellbrim cards that we can use. A petrify as well that we can merge if needed, but I have a feeling that he's close to getting a crazy gold buff on Arthur. 
Yeah, we still got plenty of. Oh no, maybe we're out of luck here. Yeah. Oh no, that's really annoying, isn't it? All right. Well, Arthur kills somebody for sure, and then I think we use just throw everything we can at uh, King here, and let's merge this. That's a double merge. There's a good likelihood that he goes straight to my um. Help him though. Oh, is King gonna die? Perfect. But as a, a little bit, a little bit lucky on the crit RNG there. But exactly what we needed to win this match. <laughs> well, at least uh, Elaine's ultimate, you know, helped get uh, Gotha down there. If I had played in a bit of a, a different order, we would have seen a, a slightly elevated level of value. But this matchup is still not won yet. There's still a pretty good chance of winning, though. Some fantastic ways to control our opponents. Right, so let's go for the AoE here. That'll merge on King. And then do we want to deplete ranks? I think that's probably on Arthur there. So let's use that. And then do we petrify Arthur or Meliodas? I think we go for Arthur here. And then next turn, we have both their ultimates, so I think we use King's ultimate. But at this point, shut down, man. It's been like a double ult drain there as well. So yeah, not too bad for the first matchup. Again, a couple of misplays here and there, but um, a very solid result overall. I think we got the KO next turn. There we go, boys. Sorted. Well, 100% <laughs> win ratio so far. I might also eat in the pies. Hopefully, I am. We just uh, pay very close attention here. Okay, fantastic. Let's crack on to uh, matchup number two. Well, I definitely need to remember to play around uh, fish and chips. I have just so many little, um, little things. I just barely see anybody running fish and chips anymore, man. That evasion food, though. Oh, we got a Helbram King Brown match here. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, interesting. We can decrease skill ranks here. Okay, that was a merger on King. Is he going straight into a Petrify, or is he gonna upgrade? Who's he gonna upgrade on? Pay attention. He's upgraded on King, and then he's gonna fossilize for two turns. My King, or is that a single fossilize? So what we can do here. Is we go for this and that will decrease skill ranks. And then what else do I want to use? I don't think I have a great play. Maybe I drain here and then rush um, Helbrum's ultimate. That was maybe a bit hasty on where I wanted the damage there. I think he's got a gold. Um, A gold heal and not petrify. I think the double alt play is the way to go. I don't, I don't know if Helbrum has any upgraded skills. I don't believe he does. So I think what we do here. Do we... I want to use his ultimate and then do we go for the gamble that he does have sync merged? I think I think we go for it, man. If he has anything at silver, then it's a drain. And then we are saved. And he didn't. Oh, I should have used that on King. Is there a good chance a lane dies next turn? Potentially. Yeah, I should have definitely used that on King. Oh, no. Take a, a fat hit here. Is Elaine still alive or is she getting KO'd now? Okay. 
to use that on King. Go for the Purify, and then... So King's going to be stunned. Ghost is going to be petrified. And then we're at King's ult next turn, so unless he has any way to CC King, which is uh, still moderately likely with Falbrim. Yeah, he's... Gosh, I'm, I'm hoping he's just got a Petrifier card in hand that he can't do anything with. Because if he has, we might be able to win this. Uh, but if he's got the Drain, then I don't know, man. It's I don't know. We, we actually might still have enough control to uh, get him down. Oh, yes. Hell yes. Let's go for it. Right, that should... I'm really hoping that these skills manage to um, KO go for there. I think, I think it's unlikely, yeah. But at least he gets uh, frozen. <laughs> well, we're not, out of, we're not fully out of the woods yet, but I'd say uh, we are almost there. So yeah, that, that wasn't too bad. Like, Elaine's, uh, Elaine's ultimate, man, with that stun. It came in clutch uh, at exactly the right time we needed it to. And then, what do we want to look... What do we want to go for this turn? I think we fire all the damage that we can. Let's go for that, and then let's petrify, and that also gets me Hellbrim's uh, ult next turn. Actually, that's Merlin Drains. I think this is just going to kill the opposing Hellbrim, though. Oh, very, very, very close. He's easily going to die next turn. And then we just got the Merlin to deal with. So Merlin's gone for a merger. And then perfect cube. But then we use Helbrum's ultimate. We cancel the perfect cube. And then... Ooh. This, this might drain as well, I think. I'm pretty sure she's got some silvers in hand. Oh no, she doesn't. So we still take our ult next turn, but it's all good, mate. It's all good. So Elaine, um, you know, she's uh, did a little bit of work, man. Did a little bit of work. Also that um, health increase from the whole fairy team synergy <laughs> kept her alive uh, for a while there, man. I think she's gonna stay alive till the end of this actually. Right, what do we go for here? Let's just go for all of the damage, man. There we go. I think Halbrum's probably gonna get the KO here. Oh, look at that. Full drain on the old gauge. Perfect, mate. Perfect. Well, you know, this full fairy team, 100% win ratio, 2 out of 2 so far. We're, we're doing okay, man. We're doing okay. I was a bit worried for a point there that we wouldn't be able to uh, claw it back. But, oh, we just about did, lads. We just about did. But let's have a uh, bit of a look at the third matchup and what we're going to be dealing with um, up next. Maybe uh, another Helbrum <laughs> King Gotha team? To be fair, I, th I think if we play well, we've got an alright match against them. Like that single, you know, kind of Green Meliodas ultimate. I think it is pretty much the same as Green Meli's ultimate. Fighting Natsu. Oh, I swear I fought Natsu before, man. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. We merged this one for alt uh, drain on everyone. I think is a first turn play there. I think we merge this, and then... Do, do I need to purify for survivability? I think so, or else that green barn can be a little bit troublesome. So yeah, let's just, let's just go for that. 
And next turn we can... Um... Oh, I'm glad we did, went for that play, man. Perfect. Got around the evasion food. So next turn, I don't think there's anything he can do. Unless he upgrades Carlton gets a little bit lucky. To cancel out everything that we have. Oh no, maybe he can. Is that... Oh, again, fossilized as well. Oh, fantastic. That is a, a nasty play, boys. Nasty play. Yeah, everything's just been disabled. Who do we go for here? I think we go for King and then should we just move some Hellroom cards around? Use that and then use... Oh, I don't really want to use anything else. <laughs> I should have probably just moved uh, a bronze that I wanted upgraded to the left-hand side. I was struggling to make a good decision there, though. But yeah, I think we stunned on the right target. King was the, the one to go for. And then we've still got like an AoE alt drain. Just trying to think of problematic stuff that could happen. Okay, double tur uh, turn it attack disable there, which is not great. So I think we we just gotta yeah, send it as far as we can here. Mm. And then who's moved do I use? I don't wanna save that. I think I just Throw away kings here. Actually, let's let's save the fossilization. Throw away that card. And then, oh, Gotha 100% dies from this, right? It's got to be it, mate. Got to be it. Yeah, perfect. He shut down all of the basics there, but he couldn't shut down the ultimates, lads. And we didn't get the best luck not drawing a, a purify. Although it wouldn't have made too much difference that turn. Hmm. Okay, I think we just fire everything we can at Barn here. I think that should be enough. Um, and then... Just use this as well for a bit of safety. Like the matchup is, is pretty much one at that point. I was debating like merging it. Yeah, that would have been fine anyway. Don't need to go for super risky plays. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe I'll play a bit too safe sometimes, man. But it's always better to play it a little bit safer, especially when you've got such a, a monumental lead. But if we're ever in a you know, the second place, playing from behind, I always go a little bit, a little bit feral sometimes. Let's crack on those. And that should do it. I feel like, um, yeah, lane was just shut down so much for the majority of that matchup by Gotha, which is uh, a little bit, a little bit troublesome. But she's going to go in for the KO here, lads. All the lane skills, let's do it. He needs that ultimate. Perfect, mate. Perfect. Ooh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, three out of three so far. It's going um a, a decent start to this week. She's uh she's certainly, like, not dead weight. That ultimate has come in clutch sometimes. But uh, it's kind of mainly the ultimate that I've seen the... Uh, real solidified value in so far. We haven't had uh, many matchups where... Um, we've seen the Drain in play. I wish she just had that Drain on the Bronze card, man. She'd be so much better if she had the Drain on the Bronze card. But hey, maybe this is the match, boys. Maybe this is the match. Elaine's going to get that crazy value. Nice little top deck on the Silver there for Fog Wave. And let's have a look at what my opponent is going to go for. Trying to think about what we might want to do here. I think we rush uh, Elaine and Helbrum's ult is a kind of goal. Buffing up Helbrum. No, not Elaine. It's mean, mate. It's just mean. 
Uh, I guess we rush the other two alts then. So let's fire that one into Hellbrim for the damage. And then she just... I think we move and then use that. So I, I'm going to keep the purifying instead of wasting it. I shouldn't have um, wasted it, I think, in the previous matchup. about that king a eh? king could be a problem oh no there are two king moves is a double petrify please no please no oh wow okay well Think we go for this? I think that should decrease some skill ranks there. He's got three silvers in hand though, so hopefully that gets rid of at least two. Perfect. Okay, so maybe that was a petrify gone. We're all ultimates now. Come on, dude. I, I just don't know what's gonna happen here, mate. Looks like some Helbrum cards. Maybe Elaine's gonna die. Or maybe everybody's just gonna get controlled. Okay, attack the Sable. Mm. Right, so we heal up here. And then do we stun on Gotha? There's no point stun on Gotha, it's just gonna get cleansed. Got a stun king, and then we just got tank and ult next turn. Fantastic heal though. Oh sick, king's dead. Perfect. Just top decked a silver on Helbrum, I think. I saw his power go up a fair bit there. Mm. Merlin's dropped down. There's a good chance my king gets drained. Yeah, there's, there's two drain units, bro. My king is definitely getting drained. At least that merges a, uh, a silver, though. Actually, do we... If we get drained, we just immediately re-top re -top deck that ult, right? Because then it creates a spot. Unless we get double turn CC'd. Which just happened. Uh, okay, that's that's interesting. So we definitely drain on Gotha here. And then, gosh. Um, who do I want to decrease? Did he upgrade Helbrum? I think he upgraded Helbrum. Yeah, okay, let's just nuke into Helbrum as well. I wish she had the drain on that friggin' basic, man. Oh no, it's the gold on Gaither. That's definitely my error then. See, again, there's, there's just so much attention that you need to uh, <laughs> pay to uh, what cards are being upgraded. Okay, Halbrum's being drained. Oh no, it's all up to a lane. Come on. Oh no, we didn't get any of the, the draining cards that we need. Don't think there's like any... I don't even have Halbrum cards to move around here, bro. Let's try and use that on Gotha. And then merge this. Horrible line of play, man. Horrible line of play. Oh, and I just decreased skill ranks and it just merged him into another gold. Great. Yeah, I, I think that is the uh, the issue with um, Elaine so far. Is that to get that real valuable utility, you need her cards to be at silver. Just the bronze. It's like they don't have the stuff that you want them to have. So I can I can understand why this uh, unit. Oh, we gonna survive this? Oh wow! <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Opponent's forfeit match. Oh, well, I thought I was dead there, bro. It turns out we won. Elaine, god tier character confirmed. <laughs> Um, yeah, guys, it was Elaine's passive there. The 15% health won us that match. So, Hellroom counter confirmed, boys. Hellroom counter confirmed. Wow. I don't know how I won that, bro. <laughs> what? Oh, mate. Oh, I just... I don't understand really what happened there, but that was, that was fantastic. Well, 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 well. Underrated passive boys, full fairy team, two OP, Helbrum counter, a million percent confirmed right now. Wow, I didn't expect that. Oh, look at this man. I assume he's using C seafood, or he's the biggest whale, or both. Hmm. Even nice plays here. I really want to try and rush two alts, but I'm not going to be able to do that. I need to get Helbrum's alt though in this setup. Sick. Okay. So we definitely need to, need to go Halbrim's ult. There's an, so we merge here, and then whose ult do we go for on top of that? Do we go for King's ult? I think we do. I think we use this, and then I want to move this to here, so hopefully we can top deck a heal. That's the plan. Perfect. Using a bit of evade food. Um, what can he do to me next turn? I don't think... If he's got, like, Extort, Double Whip, might be in a little bit of trouble. Got those fairy stats, though. Elaine's passive. It's gonna hopefully make us hang in there. I assume next turn's play is Purify, Double Alt, win game. Ooh... He really went for it there, man, didn't he? He was he was on a mission. Okay, well at least we didn't have any um purified to worry about there. So I think we go for CC Arthur. I think so. There's a chance that Arthur dies anyway, but I think we just chuck that on him. Oh, look at that! Helbrum's ultimate straight in there with a the cancel, lads. You love to see it. Plans ruined. Nice, nice. We're looking good. Hmm. Bit more of a powerful extort there. Okay, so next turn, he needs to die. Gotha needs to die. Let's go for Gotha there, and then. Oh gosh. I think Barn we decrease the skill ranks. Gotha definitely dies. I'm fairly confident. And then Barn got upgraded, right? No, he didn't. That was, uh, <laughs> I think that was Gotha's silver. Because Arthur, I think, top decked a silver merger there. But uh, it's all good, man. It's all good. After that double ultimate, we are miles ahead. But maybe we don't want to get too confident with Green Barn knocking about, man. Would be a, a grave error. Okay, right. I think we chuck one of these on this man. I can't use the purify. Okay. So we chuck one of those, drain that man, drain Arthur, and then we go in with. Go with this. Increase skill ranks. I think that's going to um, KO anyway. Yeah, even with it still. Oh no, come on, Elaine! 
Oh no, Elaine, what are you doing? You're the MVP, you're the backline, the support there. I thought she could do it. I'm a bit concerned that there might be some damage out, but we've got House's, House's ultimate, his ultimate. Ooh, okay. We're all good. I think we can finish off this match now. So let's fire off um, this, cancel everything. That'll can cancel out the extort, go for a stun, and then let's finally go for a heal so the Hauser doesn't wombo combo me down the uh, following turn. Is that going to be enough damage? Maybe. Sword, mate. Sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow okay well dude i i was actually expecting to take some fat l's today lads i was not uh imagining that this team would be uh as as successful as we have been so far today but anyway i just had a peek at obs i saw the video was already over half an hour long so i was like i've been way too caught up in today's full fairy team gameplay um but elaine she seems okay i wouldn't say she's a top tier unit um but that ultimate it's definitely got its value for killing a, a single opponent there um but her basic attacks again you kind of do need to get the silver if you want to see like the uh, the good utility out of them but yeah i, th I think she's all right she's definitely like top not top meta at least in my opinion but if you really wanted to make her work uh, you know you can do if you got the full um uh, fairy team by the looks of uh, today's gameplay video but anyway if you did enjoy it please do smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated but aside from that thank you very much for watching take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day